So we've all been there at one point or another where we're strumming some kind of an acoustic guitar with a sound hole, with a pick, and the sound hole becomes a black hole and sucks everything in to the event horizon and it's gone forever. So thankfully, I've been blessed with the unique and limitless gift of getting a pick out of an acoustic guitar when it has fallen in there. And I'm gonna share that with you today. So yeah, you're strumming along, everything is great. And, and then you happen to drop your pick in the guitar. Uh, full disclosure, I had to practice doing that. It's really hard to make it happen on purpose. Sometimes it happens, uh, but it's really hard to know exactly how it happens. It happens to my students a lot. And uh, this is a trick that I always teach my students. So the pick is in there. Uh, the key to this is knowing where the pick is and knowing where the bracing is on the guitar. So thankfully, you can see the bracing inside the acoustic on, on the back of the guitar, right? You can see those little bars there. So the first thing we wanna do is get the pick over to the upper bout of the guitar, which is very simple. We just do that. Okay, so we've tipped the guitar and the pick is now in the upper bout. I'm going to uh, just slide, see if I can kind of motion the guitar to slide the pick right next to this bracing right there. There it is. Uh, if you can see that, let's see if I can get the, there you go, you can kind of see it in there. All right, now, so I'm going to hop the pick over that brace right there. Just a quick little hop. There we go and now you can see the pick right there. So that's the trick. If you get the pick right underneath the sound hole, then what we're going to do is use centrifugal force. We're going to lift the guitar as we spin it. If we're lifting it, the pick is being forced. It's, it wants to go through the guitar, but it's not going to because there's a back there. <laughs> so we're gonna lift the guitar to create centrifugal force to the back of the guitar while we're spinning it to get the pick to fall out of the sound hole. And let's see if I can do it. I'm going to, there we go, let's try that. So one, two, three, there we go. It just fell out and here it is. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Let's just go through it again without all the fancy angles. I'm just gonna drop the pick in and let's kind of shake it up. You can hear it in there. Get it to the upper bout by tipping it, right? And then let's get it over, oop, it actually just popped right over to where the sound hole is and Boom, it's out. And one more time, let's try it. Drop the pick in, shake it around, make sure you know where it is, and then boom, right towards the upper bout. And where'd it go? Where are you, pick? Oh, there it is. It's actually right by the sound hole. And then flip and out. Okay, so that is how I get picks out of guitars. It saves some time and frustration. Just, you gotta know where the pick is. So I hope this is helpful. You know, take 20 minutes, half an hour one day, and just practice this. It's actually kind of fun and liberating because we've all been there where you drop the pick in and it takes you a long time to get out. And if somebody drops a pick in their guitar and they have that look of sheer despair and panic, just say, hey, I can get it out really quick and get it out really quick and then you're a hero and everybody wins. So. Um, I'll see you next week for, I think I'm going to get another comparison video going next week. So have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye.